I think I have a fear that I'm going to let people down. What's the experience living in that construct of the possibility that you could let someone down? How does that fear? What else? Anxiety and constraint. Honestly, it is preventing me from actually reaching the potential of what I'm able to offer and how I'm able to serve those people that I love. So are you happy to talk about an event where you could feel you let someone down? You know, the one that's haunted me, we were playing in a playoff game of young basketball. This is in high school. So you're like 17. 17. Okay. And I was giving everything I could, but I didn't have a great relationship with my coach. We were up by one with like 20 seconds left. Yeah. And he pulls me out of the game, Mm -hmm. subbed me out with 20 seconds left to bring in somebody who hadn't played. Yeah. And then the guy that I was guarding scored and we lost the game and it was the end of the season. And I just let him, I let him pull me out. The fact that I didn't step up and say like, no coach. And if he took me out after I did that, yeah. then I would have been like, look, I did my best. But the fact that I didn't put up any resistance, yeah. I felt like I let my team down. I felt like I let my school down. I felt yeah. like I let my family down. I felt like I let everybody down. And yeah. it's haunted me. Like it's haunted me for a long time. It's beautiful. And I use the expression, life will present you with people and circumstances to reveal where you're not free. So at that moment, it had nothing to do with the coach, but it was part of the karma of your soul's journey on this planet was to reveal where you weren't free. What I hear more than anything is what you weren't allowing for was your humanity, Mm -hmm. right? Meaning that you were 17, you responded in a way that was totally appropriate to who you were at that moment right yeah now you've grown you matured you've obviously super articulate and educated you've studied so you could look back in hindsight and go oh i should have done this but when we should all over ourselves what we're actually denying is our own path our own history yeah because again what happened at that moment couldn't have happened any other way why because it didn't (laughs) yeah Right, but I want you to embrace it, right? Because there's a lot here for you. You've got a massive heart, but there's a little veil. It's behind your eyes. You can see it. You can feel it. That is a kid who felt that it was incumbent upon him to not let people down. And that's way too much pressure for any human being to carry. And it is the obstacle to you actually sharing the immense amount of love that you have, that you know you have. It keeps you up at night. It creates anxiety. And it is an obstacle to you truly being free and having an even bigger impact than you currently do. Do you have kids? No. No. But I know you'd be an exquisite father. And what I mean is if we look at that 17-year-old, if that kid came home and you saw what happened, maybe as a dad you would have been frustrated. But what would have been your real response to your son? It would have been a hug. It would have been an expression of love. No, it would have been no judgment in how I would have I would have responded to my son. Beautiful. And what has been the energy you've had of that moment? for? Lots of judgment. A lot of judgment, right? So here's a 17-year-old kid who I could just see bust his ass, gives his all, way beyond what is expected because he cares so much and he carries so much weight of responsibility because he's an athlete, he's talented, maybe the MVP. And that's a lot of weight. But what you didn't make space for was the fact that you're also human and you're 17. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the, that's the crux of it. So now if I were to cut you open and say, you know, Aubrey Marcus, born in Santa Monica, looking for this manufacturing label, and it says he can let people down, am I going to find anything like that inside of you? Not if you go deep enough. So now, if it's not a truth, if it's impossible, like impossible for you to (laughs) let people down, what becomes available, and we're seeing it on your face... What becomes available for you as a being in the absence of the belief that you can let people down? I'm free. Like, really feel that. I think one of the reasons why I'm emotional is you've actually cut to the the greatest fear that I have. It's such an honor to help you to just get beyond that such a thin veil, which is just a conversation. It's just a narrative. And I would assert it lives in a bigger construct that you think you can even do anything wrong. (laughs) isn't that amazing yeah man in the absence of thinking you can do something wrong you access something that is so potent in your ability to make a difference for people because you're not in a world of self-judgment so whatever anyone's going through right now and let's face it life can be challenging 
but I would still assert whatever the challenge is, is the gold, is the opportunity, because it's life creating a bit of friction to polish you. Life is saying, hey, it's like giving you a little nudge, like, see, you're still looking through a lens of inadequacy. You're still looking through a lens of judgment. You're still looking through a lens of insecurity. And that's okay, but it's a lie. There's nothing wrong with you. And so just be patient, be trusting, be loving, be accepting, and understand that we are beneficiaries of life, not victims of it. <laughs>